Hey guys, and I have good news for you. I just started editing a new video about anhydrous hydrazine. It will mostly consist of hypergolic reactions involving not only dinitrogen tetroxide, but some much more exotic reagents too. I will do my best to publish it by the end of this year. And while I am working on the new video, I decided to show you one of the classic chemical experiments and those amazing shots I managed to get uh, when I was filming it. I hope you like it and let's get right into it. To perform this experiment, we add ethanol into a test tube with concentrated sulfuric acid, and we do it rather slowly and gently. Otherwise, alcohol might mix itself with sulfuric acid, and the experiment fails. We then add some potassium permanganate into the test tube, and after a while, the reaction starts to make a gradually louder crackling, sound that resembles thunder. The point of this experiment is that the reaction between concentrated sulfuric acid and potassium permanganate produces manganese heptoxide, which is an extremely strong and unstable oxidizer that inflames ethanol on contact with it. That's why we see these little fire glints at the boundary of two fluids, ethanol and sulfuric acid. Now let's take a look at this process up close and in slow-mo. If we start to heat our initial test tube, we'll see a brief yet quite robust fire thunderstorm. Any so-called underwater combustion always occurs inside of a gas bubble formed around a fire source. Phosphorus reacts the same way whilst burning underwater. Watch the gas bubble that the combustion of phosphorus occurs inside of. Thanks to ultra slow mo, you can get a good look at the formation of the gas bubble.
By the way, if you use chlorosulfonic acid instead of sulfuric acid, then this experiment will not work. The contents of a test tube just boil away. To wrap it up, I'd like to share the amazing shots I got while filming this reaction. Watch a resin bubble that grabbed a small crystal of potassium permanganate. The surface of this crystal probably contains a small amount of manganese heptoxide, which explodes when reacting with ethanol, causing the explosion of two other gas bubbles below. Share your thoughts about this process in the comments. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this video and now have a good idea on how this reaction proceeds. But chemistry is still full of mysteries and I keep showing them thanks to my patrons, who keep supporting and helping me go on and make these reactions. See you in the next video.